uh, that was looking for a way to use iMessage on Android. I uh, haven't had much luck outside of using something like uh, Bluebubbles or AirMessage. However, Beeper has continued to develop its app, which offers an all-in-one solution for using various messaging services, including iMessage. Uh, following recent events, it came as a surprise to see Beeper Mini released on the Play Store. This app offers the simplest method for using iMessage on Android without needing to deal with setting up a personal server or worrying about your messages being stored in a plain text file. As you might be able to surmise, Beeper Mini is a spin-off of the original Beeper app that was released in 2021. The main goal of both of these and apps is to make it possible to use iMessage on the best Android phones, but in different ways. With this release, the original application has been renamed Beeper Cloud while still being limited to an invite system to be used. Beeper Cloud also allows you to add up to 15 different messaging services into a single app, including iMessage and even RCS through Google Messages. However, when it comes to using iMessage, this version of the back app requires you to sign into a Mac server that you can't personally access. And Beeper Mini offers a different approach as it's currently limited to using only iMessage and is available for download from the Play Store. Uh, and essentially the company was able to reverse engineer iMessage, making it possible to use Apple's messaging service without needing to sign into another device. Beeper promises that it also implements Apple's end-to-end -end encryption protocol and provide an in-depth explainer that details how Beeper Mini works. I got the uh, the other difference with Beeper Mini is that despite not needing to worry about an invite system, there is a $1.99 per month subscription. Uh, Beeper offers a seven-day free trial letting you test the waters before making a decision. This cost is said to be to fund future development, allowing the company to implement features such as adding support for SMS, implementing the ability to import past chat history, and more. One, download the Beeper Mini app from the Play Store, and then find them again, and then drop in for, uh, and then tap the continue with Google button, uh, Google, uh, sign in with your Google account, uh, allow notifications, uh, six, tap the next button, and seven, tap the start my seven day free trial button and provide your payment information through the Google Play pop-up. Nine, tap the next button. Uh, twist and provide access to um, your SMS and content. Eleven, customize your profile. Uh, Twelve, tap the next button. Um, Thirteen, uh, tap let's go button. Uh, one, tap the new chat button in the bottom right corner. Previous, and then two, enter a name, phone number, or email. And three, select the contact that you wish to message. And then four, if you want to share your name and photo, uh, tap the share button in the bubble that appears at the top of the conversation. And, and then type out your message because, you know, type up this reliability. And six, tap the send button in the message bar. And one, tap the settings button in the top right corner. And number two is that tap manage connect. And then three, tap connect Apple ID. And then keep pushing your cell phone and because that's being on poor shore, enter your Apple ID and password. And, and I would create a five when you pleasure. And uh, without normal several species, uh, the land is the best moving of our increasing points to the opportunity. And this uh, B, and we have never to stand up to increase. And after you're signed in, you'll be taken back to the Manage Connection screen. From here, you can select which phone number or Apple ID email you want to use when creating new chats. Just pick the one you want to use, and you'll be able to start sending iMessages from your own Apple ID. Option and then the Edge tap the Settings icon in the top right corner. Uh, two,
tap manage connection, and then also saying select on link and sign out of Beeper. It's one thing being able to disconnect your Apple ID from Beeper, but there are a few more steps you'll need to take if you want to remove your phone number. The company states that your phone number is due registered within 12 hours. However, Apple also offers a way to deregister your phone number from iMessage, which works much faster. So, uh, one, navigate to the deregister iMessage website uh, so you can put in no longer have your iPhone, uh, your section. Uh, I don't think that you don't have any single channels, but I don't think. And then third, enter your phone number. And I, you know, to four, uh, kind of input the code that you see on the page and enter the confirmation code that you receive on your phone. And what's going to do is click the submit button, right? Uh, given that Apple has already announced that RCS support is coming to the iPhone sometime in 2024, we aren't sure what the future holds for Beeper and Beeper Mini. However, even if the writing is on the wall, at least we have Beeper Mini to serve as a stopgap for being able to use iMessage on Android.